She believes, as many of us do, that whatever's happening in the classrooms and on the fields and in the residence halls is really going to be what students remember as much as anything else. I find her to be very hardworking and efficient, but still compassionate, which is crucial to success. She has been present. She shows up. She's engaged. She creates a sense of community. Being a woman in science was really important for me to have that kind of mentorship and leadership. Whenever you feel like somebody actually cares, it makes you want to try harder and work harder and just be a better student. She likes to think of the university as student driven. Her job as an administrator is to kind of think through the view of the student. She has really paved a way for us to be bold. We got to know each other in the capacity of working really on the residential college system. My husband is Dr. Roosevelt Noble. Having that vision and sort of centered on family and bringing people together in an environment where everybody can be equals and collaborative is something that reminds me a lot of even the way Susan was in the lab. Susan is just one of those people that's just naturally a leader. She's someone who can create and communicate a compelling vision, but just as quickly sit down with you and roll up her sleeves uh, and dig into a given issue. I've never worked with anybody who takes the concept of team and teamwork as seriously as she does. She wants to know what is current in the field and how Vanderbilt should be leading and what she could do to support those efforts. She is dedicated to improving the student experience, dedicated to making Vanderbilt a better place. She very clearly was the right person for the job and we're not missing a beat.